Good morning, everyone. This is Tomali Haldar over here, your geography teacher at Education. We have organized a new session on one particular topic in detail. We have uploaded the video on the volcanic eruption, the different types of volcanic eruption, what are the factors, the effects, and also we did uh, the different type of rocks that were present. But in today's class, we are going to focus on one type of volcanic eruption that took place many years ago, and we are going to explore in the details, be it causes, its effects, the aftermath that was there after the volcanic eruption, we are going to explore that. All right? We are going to talk in details about the Vesuvius volcanic eruption that took place many years ago. Uh, please look at the image. And, and that particular image is actually representing the area where the Vesuvius eruption took place. We are going to explore in details what is this area in the world map. All right. And this entire area has been circled as death zone. Why? We are also going to explore into that. To understand the Vesuvius volcanic eruption, it is not important. I'm repeating. It is not important to know about the world map. Rather, it is important to know about the different plates that are present on the Earth's surface. Now, that is why I've been repeatedly emphasize, emphasizing that the previous classes that we have uploaded, it's very much important to understand this class. Although I will be repeating, but the repetition that won't be in much detail that we have covered in the last classes. Okay. Our entire earth, our entire earth is divided into numerous plates, P-L-A-T-E-S. The plates can be oceanic in nature or they can be continental in nature. Oceanic plate means they are entirely having ocean, water. Continental plate means they are entirely comprised of continents. Some plates are a mixture. They are either having ocean or either having a continent. So here we are. The entire world into divided into plates. Now, what is that world that is divided into plates? I hope you remember the interior of the earth. The interior of the earth is broadly categorized into three parts. The crust, the mantle and the core. The crust is the outermost layer of the earth, which is divided into Sial and Saima. Sial is your continental crust and Saima is your oceanic crust. That crust is nothing but the plates. The crust is nothing but the plate that is depicting the outer part of the earth's surface. And beneath the crust lies what? Mantle, which is for the divided into upper and lower mantle. But for that, you need to go into the first session that we have uploaded. Here, we are not talking that about in details. So, what is the function of the crust and the mantle? If this is the mantle, if this is the mantle, above the mantle is the cyma. And above the cyma is the, above the cyma is the continent. So, this is your continent. Second one is your ocean. And the third one is your mantle. The mantle is semi-solid in nature. It is providing the heat. And upon that heat, the cyma and the sial is moving. If the heat is directed front, obviously the mantle, sorry, the oceanic crust and the continental crust will move front. If the heat is directed on to, towards my side, back side, obviously the continental ocean will move that side. Imagine the situation of a melting of a chocolate in a saucepan. Wherever the heat is more, obviously that side the chocolate will melt more. So here, the entire earth is being divided into different plates. There is one person, La Pishan, L-A, then another P-I-C-H-A-N. La Pishan has divided the entire world into majorly six major plates. Six major plates and the rest are minor plates. Major means covering a larger area. Minor means occupying a smaller area. Now, what are the major plates? You can see for yourself, North American plate, which is given a brown color. Then Pacific plate, which is given a slight yellowish color. South American plate, Antarctica plate. Arabian, uh, African plate, Eurasian plate, Australian plate. These are covering the larger areas. Whereas the smaller plates are Focus plate, Nazca plate, Filipino plate, Arabian plate. These are all the smaller plates. Now you can see in this diagram, there are red, red arrows. The red, red arrows are indicating the movement of the plates. They move in that direction generally or approximately throughout the year. Uh, let's take, for example, uh, this portion, the junction between the South American plate and the African plate. Right? Uh, don't you think that the arrows are going on this side and this side? That means that portion is getting stretched between the and it's getting torn between the right hand side direction and the left hand side direction. So these red arrows in this particular image is indicating the direction of the movement of the plates, be it continental or be it oceanic. Or now always remember the oceanic plate is heavier than the continental plate. That is why the oceanic plate or the cyma is always located below the continental plate. Okay. Now, uh, let's look uh, at the positions of North American plate and the Juan de Fuca plate. North American plate and Juan de Fuca plate. Don't you think that the North American plate, the arrow is pointing southward and Juan de Fuca plate is moving northward? That means they are colliding. That is, collision is happening. First instance. 
Then in the second instance, look between the African plate and the South American plate. I'm giving you a hint: the orange color plate and the violet color plate. Uh, and the arrows are given this side. That means one portion of the plate is moving this side, one portion of the plate is moving this side. They are moving away from each other. So this movement is a divergent plate movement. The one that is earlier, when they are moving towards each other, dhakka lagne wala hai, collision hone wala hai. So that is convergent plate movement. And the next one, which I told, going this side is the uh, divergent plate movement. Now all these types of movement of the plate, I will talk about this in the next chapter of your NCERT book. I think that's coming after the volcanoes, the distribution of oceans and continents. That I'll do. But here I wanted to give this uh, like details because on the basis of this only we will know what are the factors related with the Vesuvius eruption that took place. Okay, so this is done. Now please all of you look into the Eurasian plate. Into the Eurasian plate, I have given one minute ye yellow color and then I have given one arrow up and I have written Italy. Also, please look into the location of the Eurasian plate arrow, the red arrow, African plate that is having an arrow going north. <coughs> Sorry, that means the Eurasian plate is going southward from that image, and the Arabian African plate is moving northward. Right? Uh, African plate is moving northward. The orange color portion entirely is African plate, and that yellow color just adjacent to the African plate is the Arabian plate. Arabian plate is a minor plate, African plate is a major plate. Right? So please look into this one. All right. Now this is very important. All of you look into this map into very details. Don't look into the written part. You will get confused. That map was already shown to you beforehand. Now I, I am broadening it up. I am broadening it up. That means I am broadening the location of the Italy. All of you now look to the down uh, image on the left hand side. You can see I have broadened the image of Italy. You can see the na names, uh, names are written Campi Flegre, Vesuvius, Stromboli, Panaria, Etna, Vulcano. All these are written in red red color. These red red color portions are nothing but the sites of the volcanic eruption. All right. Now, this is very important. From the diagram, please consider two plates. The upper diagram, Eurasian plate, which is depicted in green color, and the African plate, which is depicted in orange color. It's very, very important. What is happening in this particular case? Why is the volcanic eruption taking place at the Vesuvius? Why is it so? The Eurasian plate, the Eurasian plate is moving from the north towards the south, and the African plate is moving northward. Both are colliding. And upon collision, now see, now if I'm just rotating it for your better uh, understanding, this is Eurasian, it is happening like this way. This is Eurasian plate, this is African plate. I'm just rotating it for your own visualization purpose. African plate, Eurasian plate, they are colliding. This is both continents are colliding, so it is called continent, continent collision. Now, some continent, one continent can be uh, like denser in nature, another continent can be lighter in nature. So, Eurasian plate, African plate, I'm just rotating it. Both are continental in nature. African plate, Eurasian plate. African plate is denser in nature. African plate is primarily denser in nature. So, what happens? The African plate, upon colliding, it moves down. It moves down the Eurasian plate. So, when it is moving down, look at this hand. It is going in the interior of the earth. That means after the crust comes what? Mantle. So, the, by the time it reaches the upper mantle, I'm jingling my fingers. This part is the upper mantle. It is melting over here because here the temperature is very high. It is getting melted. Now the temperature is very high. Gases are being formed. So gases being lighter, they will tend to rise up. Now the hand that I'm raising is depicting the uh, hot air, the magma that is trying to come up, that's trying to push through. The moment it is trying to push through, don't you think it's trying to push through the Eurasian plate? The moment it's trying to push through the Eurasian plate, what happens? It breaks to the Eurasian plate. The magma, the hot lava, it puts breaks to the Eurasian plate. And that is when you have the volcanic eruption. And that is what led to the formation of the Vesuvius. Okay. I'm giving a blue color to one area. I'm encircling that. All of you see that portion. The Arabian plate is melting. Eurasian plate, Arabian plate. I'm just rotating it for a visualization purpose. Arabian plate going down because it's denser. Melting, hot gas, magma. Now trying to push through. The moment it's trying to push through, this is the Eurasian plate though. It's pushing through and then you have the volcanic eruption. That volcanic eruption, there are many. There are many, but we are focusing on the Vesuvius volcanic eruption. Why? I also tell you that. Okay. You will find two things that are written. First, consider the first one. It is written, Vesuvius is a part of a Campanian volcanic arc. It's very important to know what is the meaning of a volcanic arc. What do you know about arc? A arc is just a type of a circle. So, if I consider an arc as a type of a circle, that means it is somewhat like this. 
it is written uh, vesuvius is a part of a campanian volcanic arc that means it's a type on a lying on a arc this is an arc a part of a circle and on the circle there are certain sites of the volcanic eruption that means below this arc must there must have been convergent plate movement for which the magma is trying to come up in the form of lava and when it is trying to push through there is a volcanic eruption let's look into this um, mount vesuvius map okay please look here what is happening can you see one arc i'm giving one green, uh, like um, orange color there is one arc and on that arc let me decrease the size color huh. on that arc there are several chota 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 peak like or cone like structures what are these cones these cones are nothing but the volcanic cones that have formed over a period of time because of the deposition of the lava one upon the other so this line it's nothing but the arc and this arc is known as a campanian volcanic arc and on this campanian volcanic arc is the location of your vesuvius volcano where where there was a volcanic eruption that we are about to do right now all right so this is the location and this is where the vesuvius is located. now it is written the, the arc is a source of other volcanoes like this 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 names you can look for yourself in a second diagram on the left hand side the names that are written in the red color that have repeated over there all right one more thing it's very important it is written that the rocks are andesitic in nature the rocks are andesitic in nature means there are three types of mag lava or magma granitic andesitic and basaltic if you remember from the previous lectures <clears throat> granitic is ha having tremendous amount of silica basalt is having less amount of silica andesitic is the type of uh, volcanic eruption that is in midway between the granite and basalt okay so that is having 53 to 63% of silica that means moderate amount of silica but it is more than basalt so more is the amount of silica if you remember more is the viscosity more it will not be able to move matlab kya hoga the gases won't be able to spread, the gases won't be able to freely move. Pressure will build up. 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 Pressure will Pressure is building up like a pressure cooker. So when it ultimately led to eruption, the eruption was disastrous like anything. Is very important the location. The location map is very, very important. Uh, you need to consider cities, you need to consider definitely the city of Pompeii and the city of Herculaneum. These two cities are very much close to the site of the Mount Vesuvius, and these two cities will be very important when we will go to the subsequent elaboration. Okay, now uh, you can see uh, two things the one is a map which is representing that when the volcanic eruption took place, how much area it spread it. And what is the height of the Mount Vesuvius? It is about 1280 meter. And when the Vesuvius eruption, it did take place. How did, how much did it impact? Now, it's very important that when it took place. It took place in 79 AD. So, 79 AD means after like 79 years after Christ was born, this volcanic eruption, disastrous volcanic Vesuvius eruption took place. Um, you can see that ash color portion that has been encircled. It is depicting smoke plume. Smoke plume means nothing but the smoke gas ash cinders volcanic bombs that are trying to come out these names that i'm telling it's nothing should not be alien to you because it was told in the volcanic eruption and it has been uploaded in our education channel okay and you can see within that area the cities like pompeo stabiae oplontes there is also herculaneum also here yes all these cities got affected and if i see all these four cities pompeii and herculaneum is much more closer to vesuvius than oplontes and the stabia city so here two uh, like cities will be coming up again and again now this is very important uh, to know that when this volcanic eruption took place like when i'm saying smoke plume spreaded this much that means that there, there should also be a faster rate of the movement even though the silica content was very high even though the viscosity was very high but still the eruption was so disastrous because pressure was building up it was because the silica content is more the pressure is not trying to release itself fully but when the eruption took place like dharam se dharam se bahut kuch bahar nikal ke aagya tha wo bahut kuch bahar nikal ke jab aaya tha that moved at a speed of 13 km per hour that means in one hour it covered 113 km can you imagine so that is the extent of the disaster that took place and that is why we have picked it up for today's discussion you might ask for yourself that why only vesuvius this is the reason because it was most disastrous and also why we will explore just have patience this is a diagrammatic representation of a convergent plate movement two continents this let's say this le le left hand side it's much more denser coming down melting moving up 
it's hitting this continental plate and over here you have the volcanic eruption so when the volcano jo jo lava hai wo jam jata hai over a period of time give rise to cone volcanic cone agar wo bahut uncha ho gaya to wo ek shape mountain ke shape mein aa sakta hai pehle plateau hoga fir mountain hoga to wahi yahan pe dikha raha hai aur aapka asthenosphere if you remember it's nothing but the upper mantle to continental crust to ek crust crust hi hai wo uska jab part niche aa raha hai wo to interior of the earth mein jaane ki koshish kar raha hai so by the time it reaches asthenosphere upper mantle it completely melts because the temperature is quite high usko bahut matlab core tak jaane ki bhi zarurat nahi padti hai all right so uh, the focus of a volcano and a epicenter of a volcanic eruption okay now this volcanic eruption is nothing but related to the earthquake kyunki jab volcano aayega phatke nikal ke aayega wo to matlab tremor hi create karega theek hai na to wo earthquake jab aata hai wo kis matlab kis jagah se aata hai ek hota hai aapka focus ek hota hai aapka epicenter so this the point of the origin of earthquake is called the focus or the earthquake which is called the focus the point which lies immediately vertically above the focus ye focus hai this point is called the epicenter and this is the point where one gets the maximum destruction to so, pompeii or herculaneum aapka ek ekdam epicenter ke jagah pe tha isliye wahan pe bahut zyada aapka matlab destruction hua tha in terms of earthquakes or in terms of uh, spreading of the volcanic materials now causes of volcanic eruption ek to aapka ho gaya plate tectonics because plates move kar rahe moving of the african plate and the eurasian plate second point when the african plate is colliding or converging with the eurasian plate the african plate being denser it's going below the mantle or the asthenosphere or the upper mantle when it's melting the volcanic material is trying to push through along with the steams and the hot gases and when it is trying to push through the eurasian plate the eurasian plate ke upar se main bar bar ye emphasize kar rahi hu ki if you are bhool jaoge ab please note down kar lijiye main shayad ye panch chhe baar repeat kar chuki hu but i don't mind repeating unless you understand that volcanic eruption ho raha hai so this is happening by because of the convergent boundary ye to converge kar raha hai collision ho raha hai and this is a continent continent collision because both african plate and eurasian plate is continental in nature and african plate is denser than eurasian plate jo denser hai wo niche jayega and that will subduct that will subduct and it will melt in the subduction zone theek hai ye thoda facts hai mount vesuvius ke bare mein ki location kahan pe hai and location is always determined by the intersection of the latitude and longitude तो ये कोऑर्डिनेट्स जो डिग्री फोर्टी डिग्री फोर्टी नाइन मिनट नॉर्थ है इट्स इट्स एन लैटिट्यूड बिकॉज लैटिट्यूड इज ऑलवेज टेलिंग अबाउट द लोकेशन ऑफ द प्लेस बीच नॉर्थ और साउथ ऑफ द इक्वेटर एंड फोर्टीन डिग्री ट्वेंटी सिक्स मिनट ईस्ट इट रिप्रेजेंट्स अ लॉन्गिट्यूड सो लॉन्गिट्यूड रिप्रेजेंट्स वेदर द प्लेस इज आदर ईस्ट और वेस्ट ऑफ द प्राइमरी रीजन सो हर लोकेशन लैटिट्यूड और लॉन्गिट्यूड के द्वारा रिप्रेजेंट किया जाता है दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एलिवेशन उसका हाइट क्या है कहीं कहीं पर आपको लिखा होगा वन टू एट जीरो या फिर वन टू एट वन it's all right even if you write 1280 meter it's not a problem so last erupted in 1944 the first time the very very first time it erupted was 62 ad and 64 ad 62 ad mein jo eruption hua tha 64 ad mein jo eruption hua tha anno domini wo bahut disastrous tha lekin the uh, the 79 ad wala eruption was even more disastrous than 62 ad or 64 ad all right and the last it erupted was in 1944 so vesuvius eruption we, we cannot call it an active volcanic eruption we call it a dormant volcanic eruption dormant means it's sleeping it is there we know it will erupt but we don't know when it is going to erupt fully we are not much aware of it theek hai to ye ek problem hai or nearby volcano means jo camp jo maine aapko dikhaya campanian volcanic arc mein jo etna stromboli vulcanian ye ye sab jo hai wo yahan pe likha hua hai you will find another word plinian type there are several types of volcanic eruption Hawaiian, Strombolian, Vesuvius, Pilian, Plinian. Plinian is the last category of the volcan the type of volcanic eruption. Why? Because Plinian represents the most disastrous volcanic eruption that can take place on the Earth's surface. Now, the most disastrous amount, the type of volcanic eruption is always determined by the amount of silica content. The more is the amount of silica, more is the viscosity. So, more the magma won't be able to flow, like flow freely. since it is not able to able to flow freely the gases and the steam they are getting locked inside pressure is building up so when actually the area is not able to incorporate the existing pressure it gives rise to violent the most disastrous the most violent eruption that is what you getting plinian type so your vesuvius volcanic eruption is plinian in nature all right now jaise maine aapko bataya tha ki bahut sare eruption hua tha 624 ad aur 64 ad mein fir uske baad bhi itna eruption hone ke wajah se matlab log mare kyu gaye The only problem being, ये जो मैं बार बार बोल रही हूँ पॉम्पे और हर्कुलियन सिटी 
these cities were very much thriving thriving as a port city because yeah, like if you see area herculaneum or pompeii these are very much located to the bay of naples very much very much located to the bay of naples like it's more, more or less about to be a port city port city that which will help in trading and that area was also having huge amount of the fertile soil people at that point of no at that point of time was not even aware that the fertile soil was ultimately coming from the volcano only the volcanic eruption now when the volcano is trying to come up it's bringing within it with it the important minerals that are in the interior of the earth so when the rocks they weather they lead to the uh, formation of soil that soil might contain huge amount of clay and clay is very fertile in nature it gives uh, it helps in the cultivation of different types of crops that soil can be further cultivated for the agricultural purposes and that is what is going down at pompeii and herculaneum so people were very very happy happy and the eruption that took place in 62 and the 64 ad that was disastrous people did take some measures but they were not such aware that the another volcanic eruption might hit them in 79 ad that's why it's called a dormant or volcanic uh, sleeping volcano they were not much aware of it because of the lack of awareness the disasters was very huge the disasters was very huge it was about 20000 people died in pompeii and herculaneum about the official records no one knows the unofficial one and in sabia it was about 10000 because pompeii and herculaneum is much more closer to the vesuvius and lying directly on the epicenter all right so the the disaster was more at herculaneum and pompeii rather than at sabia but people did die at sabia so what are the immediate effects of this volcanic eruption obviously the economic effect was that there was a loss of huge life and property the agricultural fields were totally smeared with the ashes the cinders and the volcanic bombs primarily with the cinders and the volcanic bombs because they are much more heavier than the ash now the most important effect was that a uh, crisis in the food how did that happen economic impact is very much related to the environmental impact why the environment degraded in a sense when that volcanic type of eruption took place huge amount of ashes or the ash clouds of ash was being sent up now the ashes they did what they totally covered the cloud so when the ash is totally covering the cloud or totally not only the clouds they form the clouds themselves and they totally block the sun rays so when they totally block the sun rays the plants were not able to get the light even the plants which were surviving they were not able to get the light the crops were not getting the light they died they were not able to perform the process of photosynthesis the obviously that led to the food shortage वैसे ही volcanic eruption ke wajah se agriculture field ekdam jal gaya tha जो भी बचा कुछ हुआ प्लांट था उनको तो मतलब लाइट ही नहीं मिल रहा था बिकॉज द क्लाउड्स ऑफ एशेस दे टोटली कवर द सन एंड दैट रिमेन फॉर सेवरल डेज फॉर सेवरल डेज फॉर व्हिच देयर वाज अ ड्रॉप इन द फूड प्रोडक्शन ड्रॉप इन एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्शन सो दिस इज हाउ द इकोनॉमिक इंपैक्ट इज वेरी मच रिलेटेड टू द एनवायरमेंटल इंपैक्ट एवरीथिंग हैज इट्स बैड एंड गुड इफेक्ट देयर वाज अ वेरी बिग बैड इफेक्ट बट द गुड इफेक्ट वाज दैट नाउ पीपल डू फ्लॉक टू दैट एरिया टू सी लाइक हाउ इज इट how the era, like the remains look like kuch to bach gaya tha matlab monuments man lijiye buildings man lijiye kuch bach gaya tha uh, humans ke jo skeletons paaye gaye the that was totally smeared in ashes so that was a like sight to look at but obviously it's a horrendous sight but people do flock to that area to see what is the extent of the pinian type of volcanic eruption and that what measure should we take in order to protect ourselves because you see you can never avoid or you can uh, you can never avoid it you can never put it zero that nahi volcanic eruption nahi ho sakte hum log aise measures le lete hain what you can do is that you can try and take steps which will try to reduce its impact aapka kaam hai uska impact to reduce karna na ki ekdam usko avoid karke ye bol dena ki ye to nahi hoga hum log matlab bahut matlab aware rahenge kuch nahi hoga no as a aware citizen as a sincere citizen we need to work on so that we can reduce its impact all right so jaise maine bataya ki in volcanic eruption hone ki wajah se itna matlab matra mein hua tha itna matra mein effect hua tha ki usko unesco ka ek heritage site bola gaya tha united nations environmental यूनाइटेड नेशंस एजुकेशनल साइंस एंड कल्चरल कॉपरेशन ओके और जो एक बहुत ही अच्छा बात हुआ था कि अर्ली वार्निंग सिस्टम के माध्यम से द वेसुवियस ऑब्जर्वेटरी वॉज सेटअप द वेसुवियस ऑब्जर्वेटरी वॉज सेटअप एज ए सर्वेलियंस सेंटर सर्वेलियंस का मतलब जो चेक करता है वॉच टावर की तरह ईगल ईगल जैसे ऊपर जैसे मतलब उड़ रहा है वो तो ऊपर से देख रहा है नीचे की क्या हो रहा है रिपोर्ट कर रहा है दैट इज द वर्क ऑफ द सर्वेलियंस सेंटर ओनली इट्स वर्क लाइक एन ईगल it gives a view point that what is happening what is not happening what measure should we take it's it's like kind of an early warning system that one should take in order to deal with such uh, drastic events so i hope this session was quite useful to you we deliberately me and ashwarya ma'am we deliberately wanted you to teach something in details about this disastrous type of volcanic eruption primarily coming out of the continent continent collision we will be putting such uh, uploading such videos on different types of volcanic eruption with reference to certain examples so stay tuned 
subscribe yourself in the YouTube channel. The we need to reach as many students as possible. And second of all, we do also have a Telegram channel. Also join there. Important updates are being given. So that's it. We are ending with today's session. I hope you like it. Let's meet again. All right. Thank you, students. Thank you.